Hey everyone, Astronaut Boy here. And I wanted to do a review of the mobile game Megapolis, which is on for Android and for iTunes, of course. Um, for those that don't know, it's a city building game. And you basically go through and, um, um, well, build a city. As they allow you, let's put that away. Anyway, uh, the game starts, you start in this little area over here, and it doesn't look like that. It looks kind of like this. Actually, they have it unlocked for you already, and they have a few buildings, and <clears throat> there'll be a tutorial to get you to build a few little structures to get you started to show you how to get going and stuff. And then as you expand it out, you see these little green bars here. That is the area that you can actually build in once you've uh, extended it out. Uh, but otherwise, it starts as a small block when you when it's unlocked, and then you have to um, expand it all out. So, but <clears throat> that's the game at its heart. You build stuff. You collect population for XP. You collect taxes for XP. Um, you build resources um, to get stuff back. You know, you can ship them out or, you know, you can go in here, like, to ship them out. Um, but then you can also go and complete task and get experience and uh, gold uh, in the process. So, like this one, see, I could do and get... 850 XP and almost 300,000 gold. So, so that's the game in a nutshell. Now, I'm going to I'm going to be honest. This game has a ton of negatives. And if you're free to play, you got to be willing to make a lot of sacrifices in terms of playing the game uh, in order to do anything, but um, one of the things that I don't like is that there is a gift system. Um, this is from the old uh, Facebook days. This game originated in back when Facebook was young, and it was a Facebook game. Yeah, yeah. And so they wanted you to get a bunch of friends. All the games on Facebook back then, you need to have boatloads of friends and send them all gifts so that they would send you gifts so you could, you know get resources in the game to do stuff so that element still exists um and right now it is totally broken because the game is so old even though it's migrated off of facebook and on the mobile platforms unfortunately the game can no longer connect to google play and it can no longer connect to facebook um to log in to save your progress so if you start now um, your game is pretty much stuck on whatever device you start it and other than um, <clears throat> going to support and support manually moving your account to some other device you know it's not a very mobile device I play on Bluestacks by the way um, not supported by them but uh, the problem is that if I want to play this this city here that you see um, I cannot, there's no way for me to log in now and, and play this because it's, I, I, I can't transfer the game, uh, to any other platform. It's only attached to here. So, um, and to be honest, um, this is a huge slam on the developers. I mean, the Google play thing broke like maybe a year ago and they couldn't figure out how to fix it. So they just said, F it, use Facebook. And now it's broken on Facebook, and they don't know how to fix that either. And and that's despite the fact that so many games out there, you log in via Facebook or Google Play and, and have your game saved, and you can jump from device to device. So, you know, I don't know what they're going to do. Um, but anyway, but because there is no way to log in now, so now then you can't even add new friends anymore and it's just not possible because you're not connected to Facebook and I refuse to use my own Facebook deal I had to actually create a second account 
don't tell anyone <laughs> but um it, it's just ridiculous so but yeah so the first thing is is like this tedious gift sending um if you're in a state you know there you'll have a bunch of uh state people but the problem is is that they may or may not send gifts back and you know these gifts are urgently needed resources to do projects that are all over so and that brings me to my second complaint about the game and that is forced projects so if you look right here you'll see this railroad click to construct and it's because um they have this railroad system all over the map so if we look see it's all over the place and then these are special projects to connect the railroad up but it goes all over the place and then it's something similar with this this highway system that goes around i'm not sure if it's specifically this one i think it is though um you keep building highways stuff that they have uh, that they force you to build all over the place and basically this dilutes the gifts that you get from the um bots the their their official game bots so like this alice this mike and then this edward they're official game bots and they will send you like three rounds of gifts um but they're not going to look at your wish list they're just the game is going to say okay what projects do you have open and our people will send you gifts based on what projects you have open so if you look here there's like all this project stuff out here that you could do some of this is a, a previous t uh, events and stuff quest stuff um like something like this is just an actual just project project um and so if you start a lot of projects well guess what the the official bots will look at all your open projects and send you random stuff for all of them so you have to you're forced to try to keep your projects to a minimum but unfortunately you have a road project you have a railroad project that you're forced into and then the other project you're forced into is this uh warehouse and they make it so like i'm up i have upgraded this up to level 58 115 is the ceiling i'm gonna tell you right now if you're free to play you're never gonna get to 115. um but it gives the bots additional stuff you know the, the to send you because oh it's an open project and you might want let's say you wanted to build this t-shaped tunnel for whatever reason um and you want everyone to send you stuff there and you put it on your wish list you say okay send me stuff for that i've got stuff for a couple planes i'm trying to finish off um i got two more planes to max out and it takes forever in a day See, I can do that complete for 20. So I got 20 tickets. This, that's something else you can get as a gift. So yay me. So that's one plane done. Now I'm not wasting here because see how I need four more of these. And I don't want to waste a ticket uh, for 10 uh, to do less than 10 um, parts. But now that I'm waiting to get four more gifts of first aid kits and then my last plane will be upgraded and that will be a project off my list and then i can finally start looking at all right well what what do i want to build next and it's going to have to be for practicality's sake without spending a lot of money it's going to have to be going into a new territory because you know i've maxed out a lot of these so you know maybe it's this one so you got it tells you what you got to build to get it or maybe it's this one which i think this is probably what i'll do i'll do the overpass um because you've already got this road going up there in here and so the overpass is yeah right here this is the overpass and so it becomes this big huge project and you know it'll, if you're free to play it's probably going to take weeks 
uh, to finish the overpass before you can get to this to unlock it. And then, you know, once you start working on that to unlock it, then you're going to have to have these acts of territory expansion to expand it out before going into uh, premium currency, which is this right here. So, yeah, I did spend a little bit of money in the game a while back. Um, so the game does give you, by the way, uh, an option to earn some free currency by, you know, every few hours you can watch a bloody video and get one currency. Um, some of the tasks and stuff, the quest, uh, can give you free currency and some of the, uh, state stuff can give you some free currency too, but, um, anyway. But that's number two. Is that the like I said? The, I'm 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 spending a lot of time uh, talking about this, and I apologize. But uh, but yeah, the tediousness of the task and the force projects um, is there. Number three is the the I, I, this is the, the interface you see here is brand new. Now, if we go and look, this is a previous video I have on my YouTube channel. Um, if you look though, the interface in the was fairly simple and 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 stuff um i mean just around the edges and you knew everything that you had to do you had your you know you could see where your electrical usage was your water usage your population your experience everything was all nice and clean and um efficient and but this it, this interface had been here forever so I guess the developers decide that well they need to do something new. So hey, let's 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 make it like muddier. You know, now then it's like, well, where's my electricity usage and my water usage? Oh well, I gotta click over here to see all that. <laughs> and it's like really, and they still use some of the old icons like over here, but then they've got this mix of some of the old, some of the new, and it's just. You know the the new interface just is trash no one likes it i mean you get used to it but it's it's it'll never stop being trash i i don't get why they decided to do this um and spend money on this there are other things they could have spent money on um so we'll talk about that uh later um Another issue that I have is in the state task. So you have to go, so you join a state that's kind of like an alliance or a guild or whatever. Um, and hopefully they're active. Mine is kind of sort of active. Most people don't do jack though. I mean, they might be playing personally, but no one is really, I should look, I should go in here and clean out people who aren't playing to be honest. Um, uh, our alliance leaders don't do much. Um, this person right here is about the only person who plays hard, and I'm like usually like second or third. Um, but you get you go to your capital, and then to help your state in the 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 constant ongoing state uh, seasons uh, competing against other states, you have to do tasks. So first, you have to build. Now these cities are prefab. You don't actually build them. You just you have to. Um, you get resources doing tasks down here, and using those resources, uh, you then. It's not letting me do it because I've got maxed out resources and we've unlocked our whole city. So, um, but <clears throat> yeah, you just you you get these resources from doing tasks down there and you build up city sections um and then when you do a task it gives you uh these experience points for your state for the current season of whatever you know thing that's going on and then the ones that give you the most are this um manhattan you see there's some like give you 126 this one's like got 430 and then over here in Beverly Hills, there's quite a, there's a few that gives you uh, a lot as well. So, but these tasks are quite tedious. Um, and then, like if you like, for example, um, I don't have this building built, but let's say I did. 
and then I go to find it, it will not find it. So I'm going to start it just for fun. I can bail out of it. And when I go to click find, unfortunately, it will all, if, if, if I don't have it built in the main city section, it will come up like this. But let's say I had built this taller house in one of the other uh, city districts. So you've got your main city district stuff here. I think this is part of it too, but I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is. Um, but let's say you had built it over here. Well, you have to actually manually go over here to this section and, and, and then do the find again just to figure out where on the structure um, you might have built this house or this whatever where on the map so it's a terrible deal and, and it's one that you know quite frankly I wish they would have spent money fixing that but you know that that requires work whereas this graphical uh, interface crap um, was more important to them and, and it's totally worthless Probably didn't cost them much to do this, so that's why they did it. Um, now, I've already talked about how it costs a lot to expand cities. So, like here, you see, I do have 50 uh, territorial expansion deals, so I can expand my city to 25 by 25. Or I can use premium currency. Um, you're not going to have a lot of these if you're free to play, so, uh, you know. I think even as free to play, you're, you'll probably be forced to use premium currency from time to time to expand these things, especially if you want to max them out. Um, I'm not building a whole lot over here, which is why I'm not wasting the currency to uh, uh, expand this out. But, um, and then if you look, see, there's just like 50 billion projects. So that's another issue. There are just so many projects on this game. Um, and, and, and like I was saying before, the more projects you start, the more diluted your gifting gets from the automated sources. And so you're basically just forced to not do it unless you're willing to spend money. You know, you'll never, as a free to play player, you'll never build a lot of this stuff. Never on any map. And then there's like just tons and tons and tons of these, um, projects that you could do now this is one where because i did a lot of these like years ago these were all projects i don't even know if you can still do them today or not but uh, some of them you can some of them you can't because they've changed the game um <clears throat> but yeah there's just a lot of projects that you know i'll just never be able to do because it's just they're just <laughs> they're everywhere look i mean they're just everywhere there's not enough resources in this game to be able to do all this crap so so there's that um yeah so unless you're willing to play uh pay <laughs> yeah good luck and uh there is that is that so next on the items of issues that i have is the game kind of forces you to not play in 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 ways that you might want so you might say what do i mean by this well like I said, you collect on these houses um, for population uh, and XP or for gold and XP. Now, you can collect on gold and XP till the cows come home. It's not going to matter. Um, but unfortunately, as you collect population, your population grows until it hits max. And then you have to do something to expand your population size again. So basically, what I've had to do is, unless there's a state task that requires me to collect residents and increase my population, I don't, I don't, I don't increase my population because, you know, that's going to force me to eventually run out of uh, population cap. So. Um, there are water and electricity uh, restrictions as well. Those make more sense to me. The population one, I get what they were doing, but you know they make it so that your population is constantly growing, and I get that too. Unless I don't collect and I don't, and 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 you know if you're going to be free to play, you've got to play kind of judiciously. 
Yeah, you gotta do things that you might not want to do, like not collect XP and not collect this population um, just to keep under cap, just so you're not having to constantly maybe go into a project that will give you like 100,000 um, more population, because guess what? You don't have the resources to do that and it will take you months to finish it anyway. So, you know, so that's an issue I have with this uh, game for sure. And speaking of projects and stuff, um, uh, this is less on the project side and more on the event. So like you see an exciting event must have seems to have taken place here. So let's say you you had the resources and you don't care or you, maybe you're going to spend the money. You're going to build this out, right? Well, you could start this and um, now some of this like see it's not going to let you start. And it, well, this has a restriction, um, so it's maybe not a good example, but um, but some of these projects or, or some of these old events, you can start them or you can get the devs to start them for you, but they'll be broken because they'll be like, okay, now you got to do X or Y or Z to advance. Um, if you look, see, there's all these little steps. <clears throat> and then you get rewards as you do the steps and each step has you know certain you know requirements that they have of you and one of it might be you need to collect from building x 10 times except building x is no longer in the game so it's impossible to do so you have to go to the support people and say um hey i, I i'm stuck in this event uh, <clears throat> quest because building X doesn't exist anymore and then they have to manually push you forward because why would they fix the bloody game so that you could just do it or where the if they if they didn't want to change the quest just remove the task or change it to something else or make it you know whatever do something but nope 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 they're not gonna do that and, and it's totally ridiculous and 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 just it just goes to show that they're basically just milking the cow in this game, which I get. The game is super old. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, they were willing to <laughs> waste money on building a new UI. But um, another thing I don't like is, like, if you want to build, like, if you notice down here just for fun, I built, like, a Japanese area. So I got some, like, Japanese buildings here, Japanese old, you know, like, you know, classic Japanese stuff um, more modern Japanese stuff over here but if I wanted to build more there's no way there's not there's there's no tag there's no nothing that would let me know that okay these buildings are like L Tower how would you know that was Japanese well I had to go online and search and discover that what they're calling L Tower was whatever building in Japan you know, some of these, you know, like Hakata Port Terminal. Okay, that makes sense. You know, that's Japanese, right? Museum of Emerging Science and Innovation. How would you know that was Japanese? Well, you wouldn't unless you knew the building was in Japan or you had to look it up in the wiki. So there should be tags on buildings. So that if you're looking for buildings from Japan or buildings from Brazil or buildings from Spain, because they actually do... Believe it or not, you know, they'll have like, okay, these are all from China. You know, they'll do little events where it's like, okay, collect these buildings from um, Taiwan or, or whatever. Or uh, Singapore, whatever. You know, it doesn't really matter. India, whatever. Um, but they don't have tags so that you could go out and build these things. Um, so where you can easily find them. And, and and also as a, as a side note a lot of these Japanese structures about half of them maybe less are actually ones that you can just free build the rest of them are like like this one right here you know you can only build with premium currency I think or right well maybe no 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 not that one this one right here I think oops oh well wow, that's fine this one right here large Japanese house you can only build it with premium currency which makes no sense to me um and it's not you know it's kind of a it's kind of a waste except i wanted um some of these 
um, structures. Some of these are rewards uh, for events. Some of them are part of uh, um, like they'll have like a kind of a like a lottery type deal where you spin roll the dice and maybe it's like there'll be three Japanese buildings there or they'll have this deal where you get loot boxes just for clicking around in the game and at that point in time the rewards might be a whole like seven different Japanese structures just using Japan as an example um, and that therefore that's the only way you can get those um, Tokyo Tower the only way you can get this is when you le I don't remember which level it is but you level up and you'll come up as a special offer and if you decline to spend premium currency to get it then then you can never get it again it is the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard it's like seriously um, I don't get it so the, the so if you're a completionist you know you pr you almost have to buy every bloody building that comes up in the when you level up at least one um, especially if it's a premium one just because uh, a premium purchase just in case it doesn't show up again so um, yeah it's total trash um, finally there's there's no way to switch views in the game so you basically are always forced to look from here you can zoom out and then zoom way in but that's about it you know you can't like you know switch it 90 degrees and get like a view of the city from different angles and I wish you could but you know they haven't spent the money to you know <laughs> allow you to see all these art assets from different angles and you know and at this point in time they're never going to um, so you know yeah that's something else I don't like about the game so what about the positives um, to be honest, being able to design a city is fun. You know, and I mean, this was like my early efforts. And you see it's kind of like more clustered, not, you know, maybe the only organization is, is, you know, okay, I put all my skyscrapers in the back. Um, and then over here, you know, it's like, okay, well... I'm trying to design some Japanese city stuff. So yeah, that's kind of cool. And you know, some kind of a mansion, a palace here. So it's like, okay, well it's a palace. You know, I'll build all these little park deals to, um, you know, hey, they're obscenely rich. They've got a palace and they have this palatial grounds, stuff like that, you know. Um, and then like a, a, a an autumn themed, Halloween themed, um, uh, section over here so uh, complete with a siren head that will uh, pop up down here if you've ever heard of him which I had not until like probably last year um, so I knew nothing about siren head but you know he's in the game if you're uh, into siren head um, but you know and there are a wide variety of building structures um, that you can do. So, yeah, I do like that. that there are a lot of different famous buildings and stuff that are real-world structures. I like that. And, and, and like I said, I, I do like the city building aspect. But they're just... Yeah. So why do I keep playing? I don't know. Probably nostalgia for me at this point. The fact that I've just... You know, I've been playing this specific city off and on for at least a decade now. So, um, so I guess, you know, there's a bit of a sentimentality attached. But, <clears throat> now, as a new player, does, does, you know, do I recommend coming in? Well, like I said, if you're, if, if you're willing, especially if you're willing to spend money, you know, absolutely. Um, if you're free to play, you just got to be warned that, you know, you're just going to be very restricted in what you can do. And, you know, you're pretty much going to have to ignore any project that doesn't have a meaningful application. Like, you know, water treatment plant, meaningful application, do it, you know, <clears throat> because it increases your water supply. Um, this dam here, pump storage block, you know, increases your electricity uh, supply. 
So, you know, it, that was a project that was absolutely worth it to me. But this zoo over here, uh, Office of Safety Service, whatever, was not worth it to me. Um, I thought this used to be a zoo. I don't know. Back in the day, I think it used to be. I don't know what it is now. I'd have to look. I don't I don't know what, what you build over here anymore. It's it did because they changed the game. At one point in time it was one way and then that was one of their major updates is they kinda changed. Um, you know, they got rid of these buildings like here where you um where you do these kind of contracts and 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 they scrap those in favor of this where you like, oh, okay, I need to build resources um, because then I can go out and, you know, oh, okay, I need to build some fasteners because they got to ship fasteners out um, or fasteners are needed to build furniture. Uh, you know, that's what they, they replaced it with. So um, anyway, rambling here, long video, but yeah, overall, I'd just say this is like in terms of game it's just like like a C, C minus. Um, in terms of the free to play, you know, you really have to throttle yourself in order to, um, if you're going to play it and and not run into any uh, roadblocks, you just basically have to restrict yourself. And if you have to restrict yourself from playing a game, you know how much fun is it? You know, so that's to be warned. If you're willing to spend money, you know you. Can, you can go nuts and have all kinds of fun and and build um totally elaborate cities um that are along the lines of um like what what the the, the official bot uh city has and um <laughs> in the water i don't know where you i don't even know where we're at in the map but um so yeah i mean you know with all the all the projects done and and everything else that you can imagine you know massive airports but you know you got to be willing to spend the cash and if you're not willing to spend the cash well you know there you go so, but that's going to do it. Like, subscribe, all the other stuff. We'll see you later.